Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today, as you might have guessed by the title of this video, it's a great day for me. Because today, I finally passed the driving test. After attempting for three times. And trust me, not too many people have three scoring sheets like this. So, today I'm going to share with you guys about my learning to drive experience and all the mistakes I've made, which you can definitely avoid and hopefully it can be useful. And I have to say something first, if you happen to fail for the first time or even for the second time, you don't have to feel any embarrassed at all. Because I just learned that it's more than common. And I do know several people, they only passed it on their fourth attempt. So let's start. All right, for the first test, I made a mistake that many people will make. I was too nervous. And I just so remember the feedback from the examiner. He said, every turn I made was too slow, which was holding the traffic a lot. And I always wanted to slow down when changing lanes. And I even wanted to break when unnecessary. So why was I so nervous? Let me introduce my situation to you guys a little bit. I was born and raised in China, and I took the driver's lessons test and passed it about 10 years ago. But I barely even drove a car in China, and I didn't even own a car in China. So for this time, when I came to the United States to practice and attempt the driving test by renting a car, I've completely forgotten what it feels like to drive. So. Don't be that nervous like me. Don't drive that slowly like me because I actually barely know how to drive. And for the speed, we have to be like 25 in the neighborhood and 40 on the road and 60 on the highway. But of course, we cannot be that precise about the speed number all the time. And I do ask some examiners and they said, 10% up and down is acceptable. So being too nervous was the number one mistake I made in my first test. And a second mistake I made was I wasn't even familiar with the test process. And this, at the first place, made me more nervous, making the first mistake worse. And at the same time, it did make me lose too many points. For example, I didn't know there will be a pre-driving checklist part. You know, where the examiner will ask you to perform the hand signals, where is the emergency parking brake, where is the defroster, etc. I didn't even know there will be a part like that. So I lost two points in that part, which was very, very avoidable, and it indirectly cost me lose too many points and fail the test. So when I failed, and uh, I just so remember my grand uncle and my grand aunt, they accompanied me to the first test. And when I failed, I thought about how my grand aunt helped me to set, set up everything correctly and how my grand uncle helped me to practice driving in the parking lot as the road sign by himself, I felt really, really guilty. So please, be familiar with the test process in advance and don't make the mistakes that I have made. And if you accidentally fail for the first time or for the second time, be sure you read the scoring sheet very, very carefully, especially the right part. On that part, the examiner will write down the feedback for your driving performance. For the second test, during the second test, I kept reminding myself to not to turn too slowly, not to slow down when changing lanes, and to keep that appropriate speed while driving, because all those are the lessons I've learned from the first test. But I made another mistake, which was I didn't do traffic check enough. Basically, all the deduction of points I got in the second test were because of the issue of traffic check. On one hand, 
I was really too focused on the mistakes in the first test. On the other hand, I didn't really have enough obvious actions that can prove I was doing the traffic check. For example, when changing lanes, we have to do the shoulder check by looking back like this. Or when we're passing on an intersection, we have to check the left and the right, even though the light is green. Even for driving straightly, we also have to check the left and the right and the rear view mirror to ensure our surrounding conditions are safe. An examiner's feedback for my second test really emphasized that more traffic checks should be done, and he encouraged me to read the California Driving Handbook, which I did read. So here's the tip. For traffic check, we can and should exaggerate our movements to prove that we're doing the traffic check. Because from the perspective of a judging logic, the examiners can subjectively think we're not doing the traffic check because we didn't move enough. But they cannot deduct our points because of our exaggerated movements or by thinking we're doing too much. So after failing for twice, someone even asked me to change to another DMV. Oh, by the way, I finished all my tests in Santa Ana DMV, Orange County, Southern California. But I actually never thought about changing DMV because from my perspective, I thought that it was logically and proportionally impossible for all the examiners in one DMV to be that harsh. So I decided to stick with the same DMV and made appointment for my third test. And for my third test, that was really my last chance. Because if I fail this time, I'm going to retake the theory test again. And I even told myself, if I fail this time, I'm going to return the car I've ordered and never drive again. And I just so remembered the examiner asked me in a very formal voice. She asked, do you acknowledge that if you fail this time, your permit will be voided? And I said, yes, yes, I know. And then the roll test started and I kept reminding myself of everything I've been practicing, like not to turn too slowly, not to slow down when changing lanes, to keep in proper speed while driving, to scan all the intersections when passing through and to do more traffic check. And finally, I returned to the parking lot. I stopped the car, put on a handbrake and waited for judgment. I couldn't even look directly at Examiner. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see she was writing down something on my scoring sheet. And suddenly, she said, only one sentence, very short. She said, all right, you're good. And I was like, boom. Finally, I passed. So from the first test, it was in October last year to my third test, March this year, it was in total five months. It was a long period of time, but when you go through this, you'll feel even better when you finally pass it. And I can still remember I lost 24 points for the first time, 18 points for the second time, and nine points for the third time. And even though there were still points deducted for my last time, but the progress is visible. So we gotta believe that the driving test is the same as any other skill test. It just takes a little bit more time it just takes a little bit more practice and we can make the progress and finally make it. And for now, I can't wait to get my formal driver's lessons and I can't wait to get my dream car, which is my first car ever in life. I placed an order in December last year and a dealer told me last week, this car can probably hand it to me April this year and it has been shipped from Japan. So I really can't wait to share that with all of you guys. So this is my learning to drive experience. If you felt it has been useful, please give me a like and subscribe to this channel. There is way, way more content to come. So thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video. Peace.